Assalamualaikum and greetings. Ali Shama here and in this video we are going to take a look at super tiny uh, video transmitter from Ishin and that is called Ishin VTX03. Let's take a look at it and talk about this feature right away. Unfortunately, I do not have any camera which actually works on uh, 5 volt or 3.5 volt, so I will be unable to test it and show you how it works. But for now we can take a closer look at it and talk about its features. So this is Ishin of VTX03, super lightweight, super small video transmitter for your FPV whoops, I mean your mini indoor quadcopters, okay. Inside the box you get a user manual and a super small mini of video transmitter, nothing else inside the box. Now before using your video transmitter, I will highly recommend that you go ahead and use, uh, read the user manual. After that, we have this tiny little video transmitter, just of this size. For size comparison, you can see we have a video transmitter and a UAE coin, and this is just as big as the coin. And basically, it's actually smaller than coin as well. All right, so all right, so let's talk about the components. We have the antenna, we have the LED digital display, and this is only display that you will be using all the time to set your uh, bands, frequencies, and the power of this video transmitter. And on the back, if you can see, there is one button, and using this button, you will be setting all the features of your video transmitter. Now for the frequency of this little tiny video transmitter, it is a 5.8 GHz, 9 bands, 72 channels with a race band channels 5325259455 MHz. The power supply for this video transmitter is 3.2 volt to 5.5 volt maximum and it will supply 5 volt to your camera connected to this video transmitter. Now this video transmitter is uh, configurable or adjustable to 25 milliwatt, 50 milliwatt or 200 milliwatt maximum power output. It will get extremely hot when you put it to 200 milliwatt, so be very, very careful while mounting and then using a 200 milliwatt power. Uh, mostly, if you're using it for indoor quadcopters or even for outdoor uh, FPV racing, 25 milliwatt just serves the purpose more than enough, or 50 milliwatt indoor inside the house. If you have flying, if you're flying inside the house and you're gonna go into many, many different rooms, I will suggest you set it to 200 milliwatt. Now the good thing is that when you turn this video transmitter on, it will not transmit anything. So you can easily select your band and frequencies without having to bother other people or other FPV pilots in the area or in vicinity. So you can set your channels and everything. So you can set your channels and bands and after that you can power it on using this little button. Press it for five seconds and you will uh, come to the uh, power setup. So you can click it once to 25 milliwatt, again for 50 milliwatt and again for 200 milliwatts. So this way you can actually turn the video transmitter on. So once again this way you can turn the video transmitter on and without bothering anybody in the area, other FPV pilots in the area you, with your video transmission, you can set your bands and frequencies and then turn the power on when it's your turn to fly. Very very neat feature, very nice features. So this is it for this uh, mini, super mini video transmitter VTX03 from Ishin. Uh, I'm unable to actually demonstrate how it works because I don't have a proper camera to connect with it. I do have quadcopters, mini quads to connect, but I don't have a proper camera to connect with it. So uh, I will wait until I get a camera and then probably demo it again. However, however, remember most of the micro FPV quadcopters that I have been reviewing and uh, posting videos about, well, they are using probably the similar type of video transmitter and for, for the Ishin video, and for the Ishin micro quadcopters or micro FPV quadcopters, they are basically using the same video transmitter on board those quadcopters using those all-in-one Ishin FPV systems. So if you're looking at Ishin TX03, probably it's using the similar thing down there. So thank you very much Ishin. This is a really neat addition for micro FPV quadcopters. It's extremely lightweight, very small and very adjustable. 
and very compact to fit on any micro quadcopter. So enjoy! And if you have any 5 volt cameras lying around, you just need a video transmitter for your micro quadcopter, get yourself an Ishin VTX03. The link is in video description. Hey, thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and stay updated for all the new uploads. If you like the video, hit the like button and share it with friends.